Good morning, afternoon, evening. My name is Henry Gales and I'm a translator. Today I'd like to share with you a story called The Tale of Chumpiras. On several occasions I've told it to friends and such, and today we're here recording it. In Spanish, as it was originally told to me some years ago, and in English, the English translation which I've prepared. So, here goes the tale of Chumpitas, however it ends up coming into my head. The story goes that some time ago, it's not known exactly how long ago, if it was a few days ago, if it was a few years ago, we don't know exactly when, there was a Zapatista, an indigenous man from Chiapas, whose name was Chumpitas. He participated in the resistance, he fought for democracy, fought for freedom, fought for justice, and as much as President Enrique Peña Nieto wanted to buy his loyalty, as much as Governor Manuel Velasco wanted to buy his loyalty, they just couldn't. Trumpetus wouldn't sell out. He was always understanding the Zapatista word and putting it into practice. But also, Trumpetus was a very good person. He was always helping his fellow townsfolk, helping them get wood, helping them get water, helping them in the fields, helping them with whatever they needed. So Trumpetus not only uh, participated in the political struggle, he was a good person in all areas of his life, but keep in mind that far, far away in hell was the devil. Not just any demon or evil spirit, but the devil himself, the top boss man of all demons and evil spirits. And he was thinking what to do next, and he thinks and says, I need to make a bet with God. I'm going to look for him right now. And he gets up onto his steed, a mule. As we all know, the mule is the devil's steed of choice. And he rides off to heaven and gets to the door of heaven and knocks. Who is it? says St. Peter. It's me, the devil. And what do you want? I want to talk to God. The thing is, is that he's really busy right now. Well, tell him to hurry up and finish. All right, says St. Peter, come in. And so the devil goes in through the, through the gates of heaven, and there's God. He's very busy, very worried about Obama's stupidities, the war in Iraq, the war in Syria, the war in Yemen, the war in Libya, the war in Afghanistan, and the drone strikes in Somalia and Pakistan. All over the world, innocent people are dying, and so God is very worried. And he says to the devil, what do you want? Can't you see I'm really busy? And the devil says, look, uh, we should make a bet, because I think that human beings are evil. They only do good things because they're afraid of you, afraid that you're going to punish them, send them to hell. But get rid of that fear and they'd be a dumbass and a half. It'd be a total shit show. They're not good. They only do good things out of fear. No, says God. Human beings are good. They only do bad things because you lead them astray. No, says the devil. They're bad. No, they're good. No, they're bad. No, they're good. All right, says the devil. You find me anywhere on earth, a good person, and we're going to make a bet. You're going to see that I'm easily going to lead this person down the path of evil. All right, says God, let me have a look. Give me a few days. And he calls his angel over. Angel, come here. You're going to go to earth and find me a good person. Not one that's good-ish, but one that's good, good, good to the core. But where am I supposed to look, says the angel? There's a shitload of people out there. Well, I was reading the other day on this news website called... Tell us, sir. I was reading about the Zapatistas, the Zapatista Army of National Liberation, and I saw one of their commun. Then I found one of their communiques, and it said, "For everyone, everything, nothing for us." That is, they're not in this whole social struggle thing to get stuff for themselves. They're in it to make the world a better place for everyone. That's good. There ought to be good people there. So grab the keys to one of the three-ton trucks and get your ass to rebel territory. And if God gives orders, what else he is supposed to do? So the angel gets in one of the three-ton trucks and drives off until he gets to San Cristobal de las Casas Chiapas. And he's asking people, where are the Zapatistas? Where's rebel territory? And people say, oh, I think it's that way or maybe that way in the, in the jungle. Finally, he comes across some people who have signed on to the sixth declaration of the Lacandon jungle. And they give him good directions. They say, no, go towards Comitán, then you pass Las Margaritas and just keep going. So the angel gets into his truck, but this truck is nastier than my underwear. It's real old, and best case scenario goes slow. But after a long while, the angel gets to one of the Zapatista governmental centers called Caracol One La Realidad. And he 
meets with the Junta de Buen Gobierno, the Good Government Committee, and they ask him, uh, what brings you here? What do you plan on doing here? And he says, well, the thing is, is that my friend made this bed, and now I've got to go looking for a good person. So I'm just here looking around, see what I, seeing what I find. And they say, well, first things first, you have to register your truck with us. Uh, and so they give him his sticker to put on his truck, name, angel, address, heaven. And now the angel can drive around rebel territory, no problem. He's driving along the road and he sees a sign that says, you are in rebel territory. Here the people command and the government obeys. Border jungle zone. Cool, says the angel. And he spends some time in the town, spends some time in the fields, and sees that everyone's talking about uh, Chumpitas, that there's a man whose name is Chumpitas who's always helping them with whatever they need, never asking for anything in return. And the angel finds Chumpitas and sees that it's true, that Chumpitas is not thinking selfishly. He's always um, thinking about how to help others. And so he goes back to heaven. He drives his truck to the um, Tuxla Gutierrez airport and catches a flight, uh, Tuxla, Mexico City, Mexico City, heaven. And he gets to heaven and says, God, I'm back. And God says, so what did you find? Oh, hang on a second. It was a long flight and I really got to pee. He runs off to the outhouse and comes back. And God says, so did you find a good person? Oh, hang on again. I had some sour soul on the road and now I've got diarrhea. And he runs off to the outhouse again and comes back and God says, this time I'm a bit ticked off. All right, are you going to tell me or not? Yes, says the angel. Um, I found a man whose name is Chumpitas. Everybody says he goes, he's a good person. I was watching him for a bit. It's, it's true. He's, he's always thinking about how to help others, never thinking about, never being selfish, helping others without asking. He's a, he helps others without asking for anything in return. All right, says God. Sounds good. And they call the devil and God says to the devil, so what's this bet you want to make? We found a man whose name is Chumpitas. We, we think he's a good person that can't be led astray. And the devil says, I'm going to give this man, Trumpitas, one wish. And you're going to see that he's only going to be selfish. He's only going to ask for things for himself. He's not going to think about other people. That's on, says God. I'll be right back, says the devil. No, says God, you're not going alone. Angel, you go with the devil, because the devil is very devilish. He's a real trickster. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, so... Angel, you got to go with the devil, make sure he doesn't pull any fast ones. And so they catch their flight to Tuxla and get in the angel's truck. And the devil says, Jesus Christ, angel, this truck is nasty as hell. you got to ask for a new truck or something. And the angel says, no, right now we're in the resistance. we got to make do with what we got. Everybody's in the resistance, even the angel. And they drive to Chumpitas' house and uh, knock on the door. Nobody answers. They knock again a bit harder. Who is it? Says Chumpitas. An angel and the devil. And Chumpitas thinks to himself, an angel and the devil? But Chumpitas is a Zapatista. He ain't afraid of nothing or nobody. So he opens up the door and says, Hello, my friends. Um, are you hungry? Would you like some pozole? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some tortillas? And they say, No, we already ate on the road. Thank you. And uh, Chumpita says, sit down, sit down. And so everybody sits down and, and Chumpita says, uh, what can I help you with? And the angel says, well, Chumpita, the devil has something to tell you. And the devil says, Chumpita, I'm going to give you three wishes. What do you mean three wishes, says the angel. We said it was just going to be one. You shut up, says the devil. I'm devilish. I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. So it's going to be three wishes so I can fuck Chumpita over. Three wishes, Chumpita. Look, I'm very powerful. I can give you wine. I can give you women, land, cattle, money, booze. Whatever you want, Trumpitas. You ask for whatever you want and I'll give it for I'll give it to you. And Trumpitas thinks, he says. And he thinks he doesn't know what to ask for. Whatever I want, he says. Whatever you want, Trumpitas, says the devil. And he thinks a bit more. I know what I want for my first wish, says Chumpitas. And the devil is happy, he thinks, and yes, Chumpitas is going to ask for a shitload of money, something like that. And Chumpitas says, that chair, 
whoever sits in that chair, I don't want them to be able to get up without my permission. And the devil thinks, oh, he's crazy. What? Why, says the devil. No, says Chumpitas. You said whatever I want. That's what I want. Give it to me. All right, says the devil. Because there's still two wishes left, he still has a chance to prove that Chumpitas is a bad person. All right. Whoever sits in that chair, Chumpitas, is not going to be able to get up without your permission. But you still have two wishes left. I know what I want for my second wish, says Chumpitas. And the devil's happy, says, yes, Chumpitas is always going to ask for some dumb, selfish shit. And Chumpitas says, when I play cards, I always want to win. I'm never going to lose at cards. And the devil says, God. The devil thinks to himself, God, damn it, why does he ask for these useless things? All right, Chumpitas, whenever you play cards, you're always going to win. But now you only have one wish left. Think well, Chumpitas. Don't waste it. Ask for booze, money, women, wine, land, cattle, chocolate, something to make your life nicer, Chumpitas. And Chumpitas thinks a little longer and says, thinks and thinks, I know what I want for my third wish. And the devil rubs his hands together. Yes, this is it. Chumpitas says, in the moment of my choosing, I want to be able to make myself itty bitty bitty so that nobody can see me. And the devil says, fuck this. Fuck this. There's your third wish, Chumpitas. Whatever you want, you can make yourself ditty bitty. I'm getting, the, I'm getting the hell out of here. He storms out. And the angel goes with him and he says to the angel, no. He doesn't have a good heart. He's, he's wrong in the head. He's, he's crazy. He's crazier than a horse. Tell God the bet's off because... We didn't pick a person who's got good judgment. We picked a crazy person. And so the devil goes back to hell and the angel goes back to heaven and says to God, devil says the bet's off. Why, says God? Because Chumpita has asked for these three things. What did he ask for, says God? He asked for a chair that no one can get up from without his permission. He asked to always win when he plays cards. And he asked uh, to make himself itty-bitty so that no one can see him um, in the moment of his choosing. And God scratches his head and says, well, why, why did he ask for those three things? I, I have it written down here that he's a good person. He always wants to help other people. I mean, I just don't understand the logic to those wishes. I mean, either, says the angel. Well, it says, God, I'm really busy right now. I mean, I don't know how. So all these people are dying. I don't know how, how this whole thing's going to get resolved. I, oof, I'm stressed out. I don't have time to think about this. Um, We'll see what Chumpitas is thinking, I guess. The years go by and this issue is forgotten. Everybody forgets about Chumpitas on Earth. The struggle continues, the resistance continues, and as the years go by, Chumpitas gets old and the time comes for him to die. So Death starts walking towards Chumpitas' house. Death is the one who's in charge of taking away the people who time's up. And Death gets to Chumpitas' house and knocks on the door. Who is it? says Chumpitas. It's me, Death. And Chumpitas opens the door and says, Hello, my friend. As a matter of fact, I was waiting for you. Um, what can I help you with? And Death says, Chumpitas, it's time for you to die, so you need to come with me. All right, says Chumpitas. Um, but hang on a second. Let me get some soul. The trip might take a while. Uh, and let me get my raincoat. It might rain. But you must be tired from such a long trip, so make yourself at home. Have a seat. And Death sits in the chair that no one can get up from without Chumpitas' permission. And Chumpitas goes and gets his posol. He goes and gets his raincoat and puts them in his backpack and comes back. Let's go, he says. And Death tries to get up. Chumpitas, I can't get up. And Chumpita says, ah, the thing is, is that no one can get up from that chair without my permission. Uh, so you would need my permission in order to be able to get up. Well, quit fucking around, Chumpita, and let me get up, says Death. No, says Chumpita. You're staying right there because you're taking away men, women, children. Many of them are ready to die like me, but many of them are dying premature deaths, dying from diseases, dying of hunger, dying in wars, dying, um, getting murdered. So you're staying right there, 
Chumpy Dust, says Death. If you don't let me get up, I'm going to kill you. I'm not afraid of dying, says Chumpy Dust. And Death changes his approach a bit. Come on, Chumpy Dust. Let me get up. Pretty please. Fuck no, says Chumpy Dust. But if you want, we can make a bet. What do you mean a bet, says Death. Let's play cards, says Chumpy Dust. If you win, I'll let you get up. But if I win, and every time I win, you have to give me one of the souls that you were going to take to hell. And Death says, all right, you suck at cards anyway. I'm going to beat you. And so they start playing cards. But since Chumpy Dust can't lose, he wins again and again and again. And as the days go by, he starts to win all the souls that Death is carrying with him. And after a few days, the devil realizes that there's no new arrivals. And he says, what is going on? Is everybody being good? I'm going to go find out. And he gets onto his mule and rides off to heaven. And he says to God, God, what is going on? Is everybody being good? No, says God. I thought everyone was being bad because there's no new arrivals here. And God, de the devil says, there's no new arrivals in hell either. For days, no one's come. And God says, well, where the fuck are they going? Well, send someone to investigate, says the devil. And God says, angel, come here. Uh, it looks like no one's dying, so you need to go to earth and figure out what the hell's going on, figure out where death is, why he's not doing his job. And so the angel goes to earth and sees that everybody's happy because no one's dying. There's no more wars. There's no more diseases. No more murders. Everybody's living and everybody's happy. And he says to himself, mm, I bet the Zapatistas have something to do with this because they say they fight for a better world. So I'm going to go to Chumpitas' house. I bet he knows something. So the angel drives off to Chumpitas' house and uh, sees that uh, there's death playing cards with Chumpitas. And he says, uh, Chumpitas, now I understand why you wished for those things. And he goes back to heaven and says to God and to the devil, uh, death, I, f I found death. He he's playing cards with Chumpitas. And God says, well, tell him to stop being a dumbass and get back to work. No, says the angel. The thing is, is that he's sitting in the chair that no one can get up from without Chumpitas' permission. And since Chumpitas can't, can't lose, um, Chumpitas is winning all the souls that death was carrying with him. And God laughs. laughs. God damn it, Chumpitas, says God. We didn't understand what you were thinking, but you sure do have a good heart. And the devil says, God damn it, Chumpy Dust. <sighs> you tricked me. I thought you were crazy, but it turns out you are a good person. I lost the bet. Uh, Angel, take us to Chumpy Dust's house, says God. So they catch, the three of them catch a flight to Tuxla, and um, they're in Angel's truck, and the angel's telling God, do not drink the pozole, the sour pozole. If they offer it to you, just say no, because I don't know what I don't know what it is the people here have that that, that that makes it so they can put up with that stuff. But whew, I just had a tiny bit, and I was basically living in the outhouse for a week. Oof, says God, Jesus, that sounds bad. Well, thanks for the warning. And then they're in the on the road to from Guadalupe Tepeyac to La Realidad bouncing around because the angel doesn't know how to drive well and he drives straight through all the potholes gets the stuck gets the truck stuck but then some zapatista compañeros come and uh, help them help them get the truck out thank you compañeros says god no it's nothing they respond and they drive until they get to chumpitas's house and they knock on the door I'm busy, says Chumpitas. I'm playing cards. And they knock again. Chumpitas, let us in. And Chumpitas opens the door. He says, uh, what, what do you need? I, I'm, I'm really busy. I'm, I'm playing cards with death. As a matter of fact, Chumpitas, we came to talk to you about that. You have to let death get up. No, says Chumpitas. Because death is taking away men, women, children. And many of them aren't ready to die. No, says Chumpitas, says God. What you have to understand is that Everything has to come to an end at some point. After a certain point, people have to die. Souls can live for eternity, but people can't. At, at some point, we have to see if 
they were good, if they're going to go to heaven, if they were bad, if they're going to go to hell. Everything has to come to an end at some point, Jumpidus. I understand that perfectly well, says Jumpidus. People like me dying, uh, I've got no problem with that. I've lived a full life, uh, I'm ready to die. But the thing is, is that there are people dying in wars, dying of hunger, dying from diseases, getting murdered, and they're dying before they should. So, yeah, everything has to come to an end But at some point, but these people are, these people's lives are coming to an end before they should. Mm, that's a good point, says God. But think about it this way. Everybody's happy now because nobody's dying. But after a few years, the earth's going to start to fill up. If people who, old, if people who are old like you, Trumpetus, don't die, there's going to be no room on earth for, for the young people. And after a few years, people aren't going to be happy anymore. So what you're doing works really well in the short term, but in the long term, it's not going to work. The only way to solve those problems you're talking about, Trumpetus, the only way to solve them in the long term is what you've been doing your whole life, fighting for democracy, fighting for freedom, fighting for justice. That's the only way to stop premature death in, in the long run. And little by little he starts to convince Trumpetus until Trumpetus says, all right, death, you can get up. Oh, my ass hurts so bad, says death. And the first person I'm taking with me is that damn Trumpetus because you were supposed to die a long time ago. All right, says Trumpetus, because Trumpetus is ready. And so Trumpetus dies. And later he's in his at his final judgment with, in heaven with God and the devil, and God says, no, it says here, Trumpetus, that you, that you were good, that you fought for democracy, fought for freedom, fought for justice, and you were always helping your fellow townsfolk with whatever they needed, so you're going to heaven. But you turned out to be a real badass, so I'm going to give you a seat here by my side so that you can be at my side for eternity. No, says Trumpetus. Because Trumpetus was very modest, he didn't go around bragging about all the things he did. He, he was very humble. And he says, no, I don't want to be there. I don't want everyone to see me and wonder who I am or, or what I did. It's going to make me really uncomfortable. I'm not asking you if you want to or not, says God. It's an order. You're going to be here by my side. All right, says Trumpetus, but now I'm going to use my third wish and make myself itty bitty bitty so that nobody can see me. So, my dear viewers, when you die and go to heaven, right there next to God is Chumpitas, Zapatista, indigenous Chiapanecan. You're not going to see him, but he's there.